new at six. I'm being really conservative, calling it 100 million. She's lucky we didn't come after her for, after her for more. That local man claims reality star Kim Kardashian ripped off his product, and now he's looking for $100 million. This is the creation at the center of this lawsuit. It's a cell phone case, and it lights up for selfies. Our 10 News reporter Matt Boone has more on the company's headquarters right here in San Marcos. Click it in. Just put it in. This is the snap light case. It has uh, battery indicators on the back. It's got a very responsive button. Bardia Rahim says he and his business partner, Aubrey James, came up with the idea in a Vegas bathroom when a line of people were trying to take pictures with a famous bodybuilder. We just come up with some sort of light around the cell phone so when you record, when you're videotaping or taking pictures, you got better lighting. Here we are standing in a dark space. This is what the product's designed for, though. You look into the camera, you're all fuzzy and dark, but then you turn it on, and there you go. This is what people are fighting over, is the ability to look beautiful in your selfies. Snaplight's competition is made by the company Lumi, which Kardashian has marketed on social media. Lumi has already sued Snaplight in a separate case. In a statement, they said, quote, Lumi is an innovator of illuminated cell phone cases and was the first to market. Between its patents, copyrights, and trademarks, Lumi has developed substantial intellectual property rights surrounding its product line. We've done nothing wrong. We're first to market. Just because you're first to market doesn't mean you own the intellectual property rights and doesn't mean that, that pat their patent is good. But at this point, what's good will be determined in court. In San Marcos, Matt Boone. Well, you're from San Diego now. 10 News. Rahim's company has licensed a patent which was approved in 2013. Lumi's patent was filed in 2015 and approved last October.